it's a bit like the Charles Aznavour song, Happy Anniversary, but an order of magnitude or so more bitter. While it's a nice symbolic gesture to have declared this Pride Month, and to make the Stonewall Inn a National Historic Landmark, this being Pride Month doesn't help LGBT Americans oh, pay our rising rents. Declaring Stonewall Inn a national landmark doesn't remove the barriers to our transitions. Like visibility, pride doesn't pay my bills or give me a job, or get me the health care I need. Even an official acknowledgement that Stonewall was a riot, a battle against police repression led by trans women of color, would be an empty gesture in a nation dominated by cishets who refuse to acknowledge the rights of all people to basics like health care, housing, and a living wage. Our self-styled allies are running the Democratic Party into the ground by betraying us over and over. With friends like these, who needs Republicans? Honestly, I'm reaching the point where I'd rather just deal with people who can at least admit to being conservatives. There are currently millions of Americans calling themselves proud liberals and true blue Democrats who are talking, acting, and voting like Republicans. They're pro-war, pro-fracking, pro-corporation, pro-homelessness, pro-student and medical debt, and pro-poverty wages, while believing they're somehow upholding progressive values. It's sickening. I'm sorry, but it's just not as important that Republicans don't want me using public toilets while Democrats do, when neither of them want me to have health care, housing, or a living wage. The, the Hillary Clinton fan club, formerly known as the Democratic Party, is making it quite clear that real Democrats don't care if, you, if I or, or if you die broke on the street of a preventable disease or in a natural disaster caused by climate change, for that matter. That's not remotely progressive, and this is nothing to be proud of. And when queer people dare question the commodification of pride, question it becoming a cop-infested festival of capitalist pinkwashing, where bizarrely accused of being anti-gay. We're being trained to tell each other to shut up, assimilate, and be obedient and grateful consumers. We're expected to keep repeating the mantra, it gets better, until we believe it, as if that will magically bring about the systemic change we desperately need. If you're voting against that change, even doing so in the name of pragmatism, you have our blood on your hands. Are we supposed to believe that if somebody like me goes into their bathroom in the dark at midnight and says, it gets better, it gets better, it gets better, into the mirror, universal health care will appear? Seriously, what the fuck are we doing in this country? I was 
watching Kiss of the Spider Woman the other day and thinking about how the tragic queer or bury your gaze trope is now deemed problematic. Many gay or trans characters never find happiness and often don't survive to the end credits. Well, guess what? The tragic queer narrative will remain relevant until cishets choose to stop making it so. Yes, you straight and or cisgender people are responsible for the bulk of our suffering. If you don't keep propping up worsening inequality, which, to be fair, is making you miserable too, we would all be better off. Lots of queer people today want to placate cishets, assimilating with and perpetuating their destructive bootstraps myth. But even those damaging power structures replicated within oppressed groups originate from the cishet world. If you cut it out, there wouldn't be anything bad to trickle down to us. As the majority, cishets are morally obligated to demand the right of all people to things like health care, housing, and a living wage. Please think about this. End homelessness, and you have ended LGBT homelessness. Expand Medicare to the entire population, and you ensure that even trans people have the health care we need. Guarantee everyone a living wage, and you protect even queer women of color from poverty and being forced into sex work. So, if you truly want it to get better, if you want to be a real ally, Please stop voting against the few politicians who have the decency to advocate for what we all need. Stop throwing all your enthusiasm behind the symbolic gestures of ally theater and start fighting for what will improve and save the most lives. Otherwise, the LGBT community will continue to suffer. The tragic queer trope will never be as problematic as the reasons it exists.